You often hear students speak in languages other than English at the Academy of Art University. A lot of the kids here are foreign. Actually, more than 6,000 of them. When I went to check the school's application form, I found out that there is no minimum requirement for English to get into the school, so international students can easily get in. I think it's completely ridiculous that they don't have a minimum requirement for English. The school wants to make money so everyone can attend, even though your English is not good. And it really detracts from the native speakers who are trying to get the most out of the class. The school provides ESL classes and in-class support to help students with their English. It's not wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. Carl Graham is one of the ESL instructors. I sit in on the classes. I take notes, I help the students with homework. I do really got a, get a lot of help from the ESL support. Despite the help, some students still struggle. The students who need my help the most are the ones who don't come. The motivation really has to come from inside the student. I can only do so much. The Academy of Art University is the only art school where students can take ESL and art classes simultaneously. In theory, it can work, and I've seen in practice it works sometimes. I believe that taking the ESL class first would be better. Richard Hart is an instructor from the communications department. I think the same system that worked well two or three years ago doesn't work as well today because the sheer number of non-English speaking or non-native English students is so much greater now. If, if you know very little English and you can't really do much in the way of academic work. The situation has changed. The population has changed, and I think the ESL system has to change along with it. The school needs to adjust their English requirement and ESL system so students, both native and non-native, can maximize their education. From San Francisco, Catherine Sutaji, K-Art News.